Hello everyone and welcome to the last installment of my Mad Tea Party. Today, as you can probably tell by my mouth, we are doing the Cheshire Cat. Um, and yeah, this is the Tim Burton version, so it is blue and gray. Um, but yeah, let's just jump right into it because I am ready to get started. So I feel like it's been forever in a day since I actually talked to you all and had like content that was not pre-filmed. I mean, I guess my book hauls and stuff are obviously not pre-filmed. have just been <laughs> a hot mess express with trying to get myself together here and get this final Alice in Wonderland video up for you guys. But Halloween is quickly approaching, so I needed to get this out of the way so that I could film my other content that is coming up. So I just primed my eyes with concealer as I normally do and I'm also going to take a little bit of concealer and just run it over top of my brows because we're going to be changing the color of them and right now they're too dark. Now I'm not going to completely block them down but I do want a little bit of a more kind of bleached light brow look. So I'm taking a big fluffy brush and this baby blue shadow and we're just gonna go right under the brow with this. Make sure your blue is nice and even because this is a shadow that can sometimes come off patchy unless you have the right base. Crease, I'm gonna go in with a fluffy brush and go with Clued In from the Blue Moon palette. Start building that crease up, making it nice and dark. And since this is blending into another blue shadow, it should be fairly easy to blend, unlike some other blues I've worked with, um, especially like these navy and cobalt colors. They can come off not as pigmented as you would like them to be. Kind of giving it a sharp pointy end so that when I do the liner, I have a nice base I can follow. Nice little guideline. So yeah, I have, been, I have not been making content that requires any sort of forethought. I have been in a reading slump, I've been in a makeup slump, I've been, I haven't made any ASMR in like probably two months now, um, which I'm planning to do after this just so that I'm feeding all of my children on here. But yes, I have been so busy working three jobs because uh, we love to see it that I just haven't had time to do the things I enjoy in life, which I'm sure many of you feel my pain. Now I'm going into Lumi, which is the bright white shade. This is kind of a duo chromey white blue. And with my lighting, it's gonna come off very blue, but I'm just putting that on the first half of my lid. I'm gonna go in with Billie Jean here and add that to the rest of the lid. So this is really shiny and vibrant because I want the eyes to almost glow the way that the cats does in the movie. Now I'm gonna take my liner. Now I normally don't show you guys my liner process because I can't talk and do it at the same time. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this black liner and we're going to create the elongated inner corner and go about halfway across our lid. So we have our really thin line that extends all the way into the inner corner of our nose. Now I'm gonna do that on the other side and then show you guys what we're gonna do with the rest of the wing. Now that I have these liners done, I'm gonna go in with this light blue liquid lipstick. This is Little Denim Dress from NYX. I'm going to take a little bit off of the doe foot here and we're going to create the rest of our wing. So I've loaded the brush up pretty heavily just so there's a nice pigmentation and just meet that liner that we already have. Bring it across like you normally would and then wing it out. And to blend it where it meets, I just kind of stamp over top of it. And then our wing extends up and out as long as you want it. I want it to be pretty big, so. And I'm gonna add my mascara. The mascara on, obviously focusing on the 
outer lashes so that we continue that long angled line. And I am gonna put some pretty fluffy false lashes on with this look. Before I put my lashes on, I am going to go in with this same brush and liquid lipstick and draw on some brows. So taking the liquid lip, I'm just gonna draw over top of my natural brow, making them very blue so they match the wig, but giving them a nice arch. Now the rest of the face is pretty standard. I'm just gonna go in with some foundation and I'm gonna kind of avoid this area because I am gonna draw on the mouth, which you probably saw in the thumbnail. So we're just gonna focus right around here in covering anything up and kind of shaping out where the mouth will go. So we're not really gonna need contour because we're gonna be painting on this big mouth, but I do wanna go in with fine china on a pencil brush and just kind of close off this eye a little bit more. So going from the cat eye, we're gonna go all the way over to the wing and really shade in this under eye. All right, so now it is time to add some more Cheshire Cat likeness to this look. So I need to go grab some water because we're gonna start dipping into the paint. Normally I would wait to put on the wig until after I was done painting everything. However, um, I did not wanna pull the wig cap up and mess up what I'm gonna do with the neck. So here's the wig. It's got some of the same blue shades. It goes with the brows. So now let's do, I think let's just get the neck done and out of the way, shall we? So I'm just saying Snazaru water activated paint as per usual. First color I'm going in with, I'm actually mixing. It's going to be a blue, like a kind of a light blue. We're just gonna put this, get all this wig out of the way. On the neck, almost like a collar. I'm gonna try and make it as straight as I can. And I'm gonna go over that again, just because I think it's a little white. Then we're gonna take that same color about a brush length apart and do another stripe. So that will kind of create the Cheshire Cat effect. Now I'm going to take a little bit of that same color that I mixed between the blue and the white and just pick up a little bit of black. This side up and then I think we'll be in pretty good shape. There. So we have our stripes. Now let's paint our mouth. This is a lot easier because obviously there's no mixing of colors. So I'm just taking a liner brush and picking up a bunch of black paint to outline our big grin. Now I'm going to outline the teeth. Now we're going to fill in the teeth.
everyone. So this is the end of this tutorial. Here is the Cheshire Cat mouth. It's a little scarier than the one, but it's the Tim Burton version. So it's fine. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and the whole house, whole Mad Tea Party Alice in Wonderland series. I love creating it for you guys, but I'm happy it's over because it's time to get into some new looks. Uh, so I'll see you guys in the next one.